But first things first, what is BIM coordination meeting? It's a meeting where the representatives from each discipline come together to discuss a project. It's usually conducted by a BIM coordinator or a BIM manager, depending on organizational structure of the project. During this meeting, issues and conflicts found by BIM coordinator are discussed. A decision will then be made about which trade and individuals are responsible for resolving the issue. BIM coordination meetings are often organized at fixed intervals, maybe once a week or every two weeks. Their regularity really depends on how the project is progressing. During the initial stages, when models are not yet complete and design solutions are still being discussed, there will be a few BIM coordination meetings. However, as models are developed and coordination activities increase, these meetings may take place several times a month. Special equipment is needed to present models and issues that need to be discussed. It is good practice to have a TV or a projector in the meeting room to do so. So the BIM coordinator then goes through the issue he's chosen and discuss them together with the discipline experts. Okay, so you have a general idea of what BIM coordination meetings are about. These are an integral part of the well-conducted BIM coordination plan and are extremely important in making decisions. Believe me, I know from my experience that running them is not always easy, especially for people who have no experience in leadership or management. So to help you out, I'm going to discuss some common mistakes made when conducting and organizing coordination meetings and give you some tips on how to avoid them. I'm quite sure that if you will apply these suggestions, the quality of your coordination meetings will jump up to a completely new level. So let's discuss the first mistake if people come to the meeting unprepared. This applies to both those who attend and those who conduct the meeting, such as, for example, BIM coordinator. So if participants don't know what issues will be discussed, they will struggle to answer queries and make decisions on the spot. Conducting such meetings is very time consuming because you will need to try to get valuable information from people. You know what it's like when you aren't prepared, usually you won't have the confidence to speak up. Who wants to admit that they don't know something and embarrass themselves in the front of the others, right? And because so much time is taken extracting information from people, other points on the agenda might not be covered. Being unprepared reduces the productivity of the meeting and it's a bad for the morale of the entire team, actually. When this happens, it is easy for the team members to argue about who is responsible and blame others instead of finding the right solutions. If you would like to prevent this from happening at the BIM coordination meetings, Take note on the following best practices. First of all, the BIM coordinator who organizes the meeting should send the agenda to each participant beforehand. The agenda must outline exactly who is responsible for each meeting part and how they need to prepare for it. Here's an important tip. Don't assign tasks to the entire department, but rather to a specific person. For example, if you need a structural engineering team to prepare something for the meeting, we will appoint a specific person from this team to do it. So, for example, a John. This way, there can be no excuses like, for example, John says, I didn't know that I had to do it. Another good practice is that the BIM coordinator calls or sends an email to that person the day before the meeting with the reminder of what you want them to prepare. It actually doesn't have to be a big deal. A short email or two-minute conversation works wonders. Trust me. Okay, so we discussed the first mistake, now let's move on to the next one. Not inviting the right people to the meeting. So you may ask, okay, who are the right people? The answer is those who have the authority to make decisions. Let me give you an example. During a meeting, we need to make important decisions about system redesigns. Can we expect technicians or junior engineers to make such key decisions? Of course not they don't have the authority. A BIM coordinator will need to identify who the decision makers are from each discipline. This can vary depending on the type of the project, also the stage of the project, and what issues will be discussed at the meeting. 
if, for example, you are in a construction phase, you will probably need, for example, head designer, general contractor, as well as key representative from subcontractor teams. I recommend also inviting the overall project manager, a BIM lead or VDC lead for each trade, as well as hands-on team of BIM personnel. Try to keep the same group of people throughout the project. When people are familiar with each other, they make decisions faster, and this results in more effective BIM coordination meetings. Here's another tip. If there is an individual with only a few specific issues they need to give input on, allow them to leave once their issues have been discussed. If you make an effort to respect people's schedules, you will see it always pays off. Okay, moving to mistake number three. Meetings which aren't focused on high priority issues and drag on for too long. I've attended many BIM coordination meetings as both a facilitator and also participant. Trust me, it's too easy to move from discussing high priority issues to meaningless conversations about less important things. On more than one occasion, we went from discussing critical design changes to architects and specialists arguing about line thicknesses in drawing tables. And actually, I'm not kidding here. Remember that there is a specific purpose to a BIM coordination meeting. Their goal is to bring the right people together into one room where they can discuss and solve important problems. Problems that have a real impact on the success of project. Your role as a BIM coordinator is to keep the meeting on track and focus on what's important. So you may ask, what will help you to do this? First, prepare a short list of top 10, 15 issues that need to be addressed. Always start with the critical and high priority ones. Then if you get to nothing else, at least you covered what was the most important. Doing this will make it easier to finish meetings on time and keep them as focused and productive as possible. Second, help the team understand the problem by providing a context. How can this be achieved? When showing a clash in the model, always try to add the elements next to it to give a full picture of what the design problem looks like. Use sections to provide further clarity. If people don't fully understand the issue, it will be difficult to resolve it, so provide as much detail as possible. Another point is that meetings are often too long and become tiring for those who are present there. I found that meetings are best organized in the mornings and preferably in the middle of the week. For example, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Meetings should generally last for one hour, max till one and a half hour. You will see, keep the meeting going too long and people will start checking their emails and wondering about the next snack break. Okay, now time for mistake number four. The person conducting the meeting doesn't have the necessary soft and technical skills. So most BIM coordination meetings are organized and run by a BIM coordinator or a BIM manager. That person needs to have in-depth knowledge on how coordination software work as they will be driving the model during the coordination session. For example, if you need to revise dozens of issues in Solibri, you not only need to know how to do it, but how to do it fast. On the other hand, the BIM coordinator also needs certain soft skills. They need to know how to manage a meeting and have the confidence to hold people accountable. Unfortunately, this skill can't be learned overnight. In order to become good at managing meetings, you need to practice. If a BIM coordinator or a manager isn't completely comfortable with running such a meeting, I suggest pairing up with a technical expert or a project manager who is more comfy taking the lead. In that case, the project manager can manage the meeting and hold people accountable while the BIM coordinator takes responsibility for the technical part of the meeting. You will need to run the model, go through the issues, also um, create snapshots, do workflows, and update issues if necessary. Okay, now, last but not least, let's talk about mistake number five. So not having a clear plan of action to ensure issues raised at the meeting get resolved. BIM coordination meetings aren't there to discuss design problems in details. Rather, they aim to highlight the problem and in an essence, force the relevant parties to decide who will resolve it. 
the real solutions to the problems are addressed after the meeting. But as we all know, people get busy and often forget what they are supposed to do. So to avoid this, the BIM coordinator or another delegated person should make notes on the most important topics discussed. These notes can be kept in one convenient place using, for example, an Excel spreadsheet. Then after such meeting, the BIM coordinator should send an email to each meeting participant with the spreadsheet attached. In this way, everyone is reminded on what actions need to be taken and who is responsible for doing it. Something else that I found very helpful is to evaluate the meeting. Ask participants to provide three to five positive points about the meeting. Ask what they liked and what was done well. Then take the positive responses and enter them into the summary spreadsheet along with the, our other notes. Of course, we should also ask about aspects that were not done well, things that can be improved at the next meeting. By doing this, we get valuable information on what we should work on, so our next meeting is even better. Now you know exactly what mistakes to avoid in order to become a guru of BIM coordination meetings.